follow me on Instagram I just did a whole brick wall on the other side of the camera and so I put my lights up there which are the lights they're normally up there but <laughs> I moved other stuff around so the cords that kind of went for other things that those lights plugged into didn't um they move so I didn't I don't have any extension cords to plug those lights back in so I apologize if it's a little dark like I tried to get my light <laughs> so you guys could see what I was making but I thought it would be fun to do some um late night crafting with you guys not late night but you know it's nighttime and just kind of show you some things that you can do um all on your own and I just pulled a bunch of things out of my um cabinet back here behind me and um, one of them is these little miniature rolling pins and they actually turn they're wooden rolling pins you can get a pack of three of these from Hobby Lobby and if you guys look all over like Etsy or Instagram like you guys see that they have um, home decor for like your tiered trays that act as like centerpieces. Like we have one on our dining room table. Hey girl. Um, and so it has like the salt and pepper shaker on it. And then everything else is cute for the season. Like I decorate it for every single holiday, every single season with little bits and things like this. So I thought it would be fun to show you how um, I come up with those little things. Now sometimes you can just buy them outright sometimes you can find some really cute ones even for like two or three dollars um but if you look like on etsy if you just go look miniature rolling pen you'll see like one of these is like eight nine dollars and that's fine that's good it's totally worth it but you can get a pack of them and you can make your own um with just some scrap book paper um scraps i'm going to show you that or in some paint a little bit of both and some decals and so I'm gonna just kind of craft tonight with you guys and show you um, how to do that what I do so I have some these are um, actual um, let's see these are scrap of papers that I had this one is from a craft last year that I actually did it's from a pumpkin spice craft if you look very closely you can even see the actual like shape of the coffee cup mug that I made this craft with. And so this is leftover from a year ago. And you can tell I haven't done anything else with this. And then I was recently in Hobby Lobby not that long ago, um, and I picked up this cute one. It just says pumpkins, pumpkin pie, turkey, crisp, apples, cranberry. I just think it's super cute. It's a bunch of different words running through. And so it's like the orange, the reds, the browns. And I thought it would be fun to show you guys how to make these little things. Now, the other um, thing I have, I have all my, these are like all my paint brushes, guys, that have been used. So I thought I'd get the jar of used ones instead of keep getting new ones out for tonight. <laughs> um, the other thing is, is that these um, are craft wood. Um, blocks okay this is a five piece assorted wood craft block um package and these they're very lightweight 
They're thinner than your average two by four. And these also make really good like little shelf sitters. Like if you put them on like above your coffee bar or if you wanna stick them in your tier tray. Um, these are also really good for that. And um, I have a couple packs of these. And you know, not every season do I make them, but um, every now and then I make like little things to kind of pair up real nice with this, like in my little tear tray. See, see how that works? So um, what I thought it would be do, what I blah, 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 talk, would share it with you guys. Um, this isn't a craft kit or anything like that. It's just something fun that I'm gonna do with you and show you guys how to do it. Um, if you have a Cricut or Silhouette cutting machine, um, you can cut out your own little decals like this. See, I'm gonna use some of these that I created just before going live. And I was actually just gonna sit and do this by myself, but I thought, well, I'll go live. So I have like a Hello Fall decal um, and that sort of thing. I will show you. And then if you don't have a Silhouette or Cricut machine, no worries, I think I'm gonna put the decals up for sale. I have a bunch of um, pumpkins that I put out on my front stoop, front stoop, it's really on the inside of my foyer. I have a little church pew that I got from Kirkland's and I take some pumpkins and I have some faux pumpkins and I used to have like 25 pumpkins and kind of have my own little miniature pumpkin patch and I use them to decorate and I also took them to like a craft show to decorate around my show to kind of draw in people. And this lady at the very end came and um, convinced me to sell her all my pump, like most of my pumpkins. So I only have like five or six left that where I've personalized them with decals. And those decals are in the shop. So um, they're bigger for pumpkins that you can buy anywhere, Walmart, Joann's, whatever around town. And so I may add these little smaller pumpkins um, to the mix. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint everything first. And I'm just using the um, Walmart Waverly Chalk Paint brand. Just these craft paints. Um, I have a couple little ones here and then I have like some bigger ones. And I'm just going to do the colors that I like for fall, which are like the teal and the orange. And I just thought that would be really kind of fun to show. Um, so I think I'm gonna do two of these with the papers. So I'll show you how they work with papers. And then I'm going to paint two. So we'll make four. Um, and then that way, you can kind of get an idea how you can pair them up with um, different little things on your uh, tier tray. And so the other thing I'm gonna do is also paint some blocks. Let's see, I'm gonna do maybe, most of my decals are in white. So I wanna do a color that's gonna pop with the white. So I'm gonna probably do this one in the orange, and then maybe I'll do this one in the teal. So I'll kind of do a little plan here. <laughs> so I kind of have the same thing going on. So this color, lucky enough, this orange is called pumpkin, <laughs> and it's perfect for painting these little round um, rolling pins. And like I said, you can get a pack of these at Hobby Lobby for like, I wanna say five bucks, not even maybe, it might be like $3.49, something weird like that. And I have been collecting these up to do this craft because it's been a while since I've made some miniature rolling pins and I don't have any for fall. And they are just super cute to put with your um, decor that's like in and around your kitchen or on your table. They just add like a little extra interest and it's kind of like what I like to call miniature decorating, if that makes sense. Okay, so when you have like the two rolling pins and it's it's painted all the way around, you wanna make sure, hey April, what's up? I see you there, April's my cousin. So what you wanna do is make sure that you kind of have somewhere to rest the rolling pins. So I'm just gonna use two little lids here to kind of keep it elevated so it's not, um, you know, it's not in the way. Okay, so now I have the word, um, a vinyl decal that says, hey pumpkin. So I'm gonna obviously paint this wood block pumpkin color and let it dry. 
Are you guys excited for fall stuff or no? I mean, in Florida, we don't have a lot of weather. I think most of you are in Florida with me that I see. Um, so I don't know, I'm, I'm ready for fall. I have some friends that already put out their fall decor. They kind of beat me to it and that's fine. Cause usually like among my people, like I know that I'm usually the first one. And so it's kind of nice that I'm not the first one, but I'm getting there, I'm getting ready. I have my fall bins still in the garage. I haven't brought them in or anything like that. And my summer decor is still out. Um, but today I was like, okay, I wanna do something for fall to kind of get in the mood for fall decor, I think. All right, so, and I made a pumpkin patch sign today. Um, I was kind of talking about it over the weekend and it came out super cute, but one part I had to kind of redo, so. I'm glad I didn't do that one live. Okay, so I have the orange here. And so I think what I'm gonna do is also paint orange on the back. And the reason that is is because if this is sitting on the shelf, I think that it's good that it has the same thing going on all the way around. And we can kind of paint it like this. And then I have this little antique wax color that almost acts like a stain. It comes in that same Waverly chalk paint. These are only like two or three dollars at Walmart and I will show you guys how it acts like a good stain for craft projects like this. Especially if we're gonna be sitting it, you know, like on the shelf or whatever. We like to call them shelf sitters. And you have to be careful how you say that. You don't wanna say anything bad, right? <laughs> Maybe you do, I don't know, but don't. Um, but yeah, it sits on the shelf. So it's a shelf sitter. Um, just to be accurate there. That's how they are advertised. You could go to Google and type in fall shelf sitters and, and these kinds of things should pop up, I believe. Now, if it doesn't and you go and do it, don't blame me, it's not my fault. Okay, so now, let's see, I'm gonna move on to, let me get a new brush here. I'm gonna move on to teal. This little, um, actually this color is called, what color is this? Agave, I don't know. It's like a dark teal, but it's that color that's kind of popular this year with all the fall things. Like a lot of people are using it with navy and then like a hint of orange. So I'm going to do that. And if you noticed earlier, look, my pumpkin paper from last year. So I guess it's not been too, too long, it's been popular, it's just been more predominant. This pumpkin paper has this same kind of tealy color in it. Um, so we're gonna kind of try to coordinate on accident, but on purpose um, tonight while crafting. And again, I'm sorry if my light is so dark. I um, did a faux wall back here, faux brick wall. We did that over the weekend and I finished it up yesterday. Um, and I moved some of my stuff around, like I moved my desk away. So now I have like this focal wall behind me, which I'm going to decorate with the word create. Um, I put that up earlier on my page and I, I broke the letter E. So now I have to get a new letter E for create and the lights i had to order some um what do you want to call it what is this? like extension cords because they're not able to reach like they were before so it's dark in here tonight so i'm sorry about that all right so now let me do the other side i'm going to be consistent i want to keep this side going here La -da -da -da. and like it's kind of going over on the edge a little bit i'm not too worried about it it's okay. In fact, if you want to, you can uh, totally, um, you know, paint all sides if you want to, but I'm not doing that sign. Okay, so there you go. So there's my teal. And just so you can see, I have my, well, let me put my paintbrush down. That would probably be a good idea. All right, so I have my teal and I have my orange, right? How cute are these gonna be paired up together? Um, and then my house is mostly decorated 
in farmhouse stuff. Um, farmhouse vibes, theme, whatever. So I thought it would be cute to do black and white and kind of pair it with the pumpkin stuff, kind of pair it with the teal stuff to kind of bring it all together with everything else that's in my home that's like normal whatever um, decor, right? So when you decorate your home, the trick to like making it flow is to kind of use the same colors everywhere. But then you kind of question, well, how do I decorate for like fall and then change it up to Christmas because it's like orange and brown and then it's red and green. Well, um, using neutral colors throughout your home kind of helps with that. So I stick to black, white, and like the beigey grays. Not beige and not like super dark gray, but like the beigey grays. And that way there's tones of it throughout. And then when you add red and green, it looks good. When you add orange or whatever color, that looks good. And so that's like the trick to making it all flow. If that helps or makes any kind of sense. And if it doesn't, I'm sorry. Okay, hopefully you get that though. All right, I don't mean to sound mean about it. I just, you know. Hope that makes sense. But if you want to decorate your house, all the different colors in every single room, by all means, don't let me hold you back. <laughs> Just do what you wanna do, do your thing, do you. Okay, so I'm painting this little one. And just so you know, if you're tuning in, I'm painting a little um, wood block kit. It's a crafter's um, wood blocks. They're very, very lightweight. It's not like heavy duty. Um, two by fours, right? That have like splinters and stuff. These are all nice and shaved little blocks and you paint them and they make great little um, points of interest like on a tier tray, on a shelf. We call them shelf sitters, um, all of those things. And so I'm painting them for fall and adding some little details to them to kind of cuten this all up, this whole little kit. Okay, so this one I did white, this little one. And I'm gonna do another one of these um, in white, just to kind of show you um, what that looks like with maybe like a black edge on it. Or maybe we'll do like the, the trim again. And then we'll get to add in like our fun stuff, like the, the decals and the paper and all the fun stuff. So. You guys leave me a comment. Ha are you already decorating for fall? Have you guys started decorating for fall? Or is it just me that just starting? I know it's August and you're just like, listen, I'm trying to keep my head above water, whatever. <laughs> That's totally fine too. I feel you. Um, I was just curious if anybody else is like decorating for fall or is even crafting anything fun. Um, that sort of thing. So I um, will probably put these decals in the shop for you guys so you can, you know, venture off to Hobby Lobby in the little wood aisle. That's where they have these um, little wood craft blocks. And they're by the brand Wood File or Pile. Um, it's got, it's a P, P H I L E, so maybe it's Wood File. Um, it's like their wood brand that they carry there for like craft wood goodies. So um, check that out. All right, so there's the two white. We have a pumpkin orange color. We have the blue color. I'm gonna do one in this hazelnut color. And then I have this little color of a darker brown. It's called antique. And this is the wax. So most of them are the chalk paint, just so you know, chalk paint versus the wax. So the wax is kind of um, very watery. It's like, it says right on there, water base. So basically what this is, is it acts like a stain. And I was at Walmart earlier today and I tried to get like a bigger bottle of this because I really like the color that this produces, um, especially on wood, but um, they didn't have any. And I don't think you can even order it online. So if any of you guys happen to be at Walmart, and you want to get an extra jar of it because you see it there, I will happily pay you for it because it is a good color. Um, so if you find it, you let me know. Okay, so this, I probably got way too much paint, is a brownish, like, toffee-looking color. And honestly, I don't think I've even used, let me get down in there and stir it. Get that color going. 
Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, this is like a, a mustardy brown here. I don't even know if I'm in love with it. But it kind of goes with our fall theme. I will go ahead and do this one. I don't know, maybe, you know, sometimes it surprises you. Okay, so well, I'm going to paint this. Look, what do we think? It's almost the color of the wood, just a tint darker. So what did you say? Kendra, you said not yet, but you're ready. You're starting to do some fall crafting too. Oh, so tell me, what are you crafting? Tell me what you're making. What are you making? Like, is it stuff you make every year? Are you making new stuff? Where do you find your crafts at? Amanda, what did you say? I make glitter epoxy cups. Oh yes, I've done that. Those are fun. Um, I don't do them as much anymore. Earrings and signs and lanyards. Girl, selling it, right? I hope you are. Always get a side hustle going. Sell that stuff. Right? Why not? I can't see and it says you name it. I think you have more there though. But Awesome. I love it. Make all the things. I'm into wood projects here lately and I love crafting with friends and making craft kits. And doing that, oh, which, by the way, I haven't got it posted yet. But if you're local to me or in my area, there's a shop in town. I'm not going to say the shop name yet, but I'm just going to tell you it's coming, okay? So there's a shop, because i got to still finalize some details and everything. And I just want to make sure it's a go before, like I say, here's where you go and blah, 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 right? So there is a shop in town that I'm going to um, teach a craft class. Um live or whatever like you sign up for the class and it'll be on a Saturday um and I'll bring like all the things so you pay for the class and the kit that you get and it's not going to be anything that's listed in the shop it'll be its own little special design and then after that class is done with that shop um then I'll put it up for sale but um I'm going to do something unique and do a little live class crafting kind of thing. So if you guys want to craft with me in person, I would love to have you. And I think the seats are limited. So maybe it won't be my only one. That would be fun, right? Okay, maybe. But I gotta work out the details. But once I get that done, I will totally share it here so you guys can sign up because the shop is also going to be sharing it because they want to book out the class. So, um, you know, it's like first come, first serve kind of thing on, on getting it booked, okay? All right, so I know I close up the white, but I figure on that toffee color, it would be cute to have maybe white up here on the top. So let me see if I can work that in here on the edge. Ooh, that's going to be kind of hard. We'll let that dry, and then I'll have to flip it over to do the other side. Can you guys see it on my camera? What I'm doing, barely maybe there. I know this part's out of view. All right, so we'll come back to the white there. All right, so let's move on. Let's paint um, this guy, the teal color, the tealy blue color, right? And now these, like I mentioned earlier, these are the little um, rolling pins. They actually spin right? Which is super cute. There's some out there that don't spin. Um, these are from Hobby Lobby. They come three, I believe, to a pack. And these are super cute to add to your little decor, um, especially if you're like a micro decorator. What I mean by that is like you decorate on a small scale. You have like little things here and there. Um, and then you like bust out at Christmas time, probably and the, the Christmas tree is your biggest thing. So I would like, I call those like miniature decorators. Like you do, you do some stuff for the seasons, but you don't go all out like crazy like me <laughs> and have like big old wreaths and garlands and like every little room has something. Um, yeah, I just enjoy it. That's all. And it just it's ex it explodes over the year because over the years because I have kids and they like it now. Um, even for uh, Christmas this year, I told my daughter we would decorate. She has like a little nook in her room. And I told her we would decorate a little area spot for her um, this year. 
for Christmas. So we've been kind of like brainstorming, like, you know, we're gonna do like a pink theme or what are we gonna do back there? You have been looking for ideas. I have a few crafters I follow. Oh, good. Thank you for following me. I love it. I, you know, I would do this whether, I would talk to the wall, but I love it. Okay, so antique wax. We're gonna add it to all the wood things, right? And the antique wax, like I said, it acts like a stain. I should have got a um, paper towel. Um, Casey, are you there? I don't know, he might be watching TV. Um, but basically, let me go with like the ones that are dry already. And I'm gonna just go and add this brown stain. Let's see. Um, this isn't the stain I use for my kits, but it works pretty good. And of course I started on a side that's like the cut side, so it has like all the groovy edges to it. But I thought it would be cute to like make these, doo -doo -doo -doo. like see how they have like the edge to them? This, that's not a good example, but let's try a nicer cut side here. Let's see if I can get this side that's kind of, oh yeah. There's the difference. See how it works like a water gel stain? That is what we're going for here. And it just makes a nice color on these blocks. Or any wood, actually. This is just craft wood. This is the part where my fingers get covered in paint. These little, um, which I probably shouldn't have done that side because it's gonna be the bottom, so. Oh well, I'm gonna make sure I get my fingers off of that mark side. I'm gonna just do the bottom here or this side. Like so. How cute is this gonna be? So yeah, definitely find that antique if you are going to do this kind of crafting. Okay, so I'm not going to do the bottoms, because then it makes it easier for me to paint it. And since that one has like the schmear on it, this is the one we're gonna do as our top for the stain. And this will just kind of give it that interest that we're looking for. And if you have a paper towel, this color, when you wipe it off, after you paint it, of course I didn't get one. Um, when you wipe it off, it is so pretty. It's like this nutmeg looking color. Super gorgeous, so I love it. Let me see if I can find something around here I don't really have. I need a roll of paper towels in here. Anyway, I'll use my finger for right now just to kind of show you the color. I have this plastic wrap right here. All right, so see, look at that. You see the color? It's kind of dark on camera. But how cute, right? So it's like that interest that you need. And then we're gonna add our decal to it. And then you can add like little things or like little ribbons or whatever. It's gonna be so adorable. Okay, so this one I bled over a little bit on both sides. So we kinda just wanna pick the, the lesser of the two worst ends. And I'm just gonna pick one and do the same thing. Right here. And if you guys are watching and you ordered some of the um, craft kits from me, they're gonna start shipping tomorrow. So be on the lookout for those. I think so, I know Lisa ordered some. They're coming. They're Christmas ones that we did, so um, I'm just rubbing it on the sides here since this is a big one. I just kind of want a little peak of that color, but I don't want to saturate it. So I'm just gonna kind of stain and like smudge it out here. Just to kind of get that color. Cause this is the side where they obviously cut the brick, the wood block. And so it's kind of like those weird cut lines are in it. So it doesn't really matter, but I just don't want it to show completely. If that makes any kind of sense. Okay, beautiful. Okay, did I miss any? Oh, this one right here. The white one. All right, so let's do the white one. And then we can get to the fun stuff, right? The pool, we have to paint the, uh, the, um, 
what do you call those? The rolling pins. We have to paint the rolling pins. I can hear my dog. She's not supposed to be running. She's running. And she got um, fixed last week, and she has the shame of the cone of shame still on. She has to wear it for ten days, and it's, it's awful. It's awful. I feel so bad for her. It's awful. Okay, so now we have our little rolling pins, right? These roll. So now that this one is kind of dry, it's much easier to to kind of stain your little handles. Um, I just feel like it looks better with a stained handle. You can obviously leave it natural if you want to. I like the stain and I almost like it like lightly stained. So I'm just putting it on there and then rubbing the stain on the edge because it's worn, right? It's like supposed to look like that farmhouse decor. See that? Super cute. I guess we could do the wood part too, but that's totally up to you if you want to do that. All right, so moving right along here. What else is new? What are you guys looking forward to? I would love to come to a crafting class if you have one. I would bring my mom to, we love crafting. I love crafting, girl. I, it's my life, it's what I do, okay? Um, we'll see how this first class goes. If it sells out, it sells out. Um, and maybe I'll figure out a way to host some here locally. I, um, I've i kind of always wanted to do that. I've done it a few times like for family and friends, but I, I wasn't necessarily the instructor. I like had someone else come and we paid them to teach us something new. And then I've done craft classes like places where I've worked, like as like a team building thing. Um, and then recently I was like the craft person up until this year. I was the, um, like, I don't know what, what was the position called? Craft coordinator? I did it for almost three years. I started helping the first year I was in it for, with my church. And then um, I did it for two more years after that. And I loved it. I enjoyed it. I liked making the kits and everything, but I also like, to be able just to craft, you know, I was getting to where I was like kind of, um, you know, wanting somebody new to come up with stuff. And I think Joni, you're in here. She's it for this year. She's going to be awesome. She's a really good crafter. She has, so I think you have a um, shop or something where you sell some of the things you make. You'll have to like give us the name of that so we can, so I can share it here. Because um, she sells her creations like in a gift shop. And there's some cute, like, farmhouse, rustic, like, country-like um, things that she makes. Super cute. So, um, she's in charge of the craft this year um, for our church, our mom's group. Which is going to be a little bit different this year, too, because it's all virtual. Or, like, smaller pods or smaller groups, that sort of thing, you know? So, okay. So, I've got my little handles now all aged up. Look how cute these are, too, by the way. I think it would look cute if I kind of did these little little edges, just so you know. And like at this point, I'm just dry brushing it. And then these are the two that we were gonna color with um, scrapbook paper. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do the handles on these, just so they're done and ready. I'm just making sure I'm getting them in there real good. Just kind of dry brush on there like that. See, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Little handles are gonna be aged. Maybe I'll get my uh, cords tomorrow so I have more light. So I'm really feeling the dark light right now. And that's kind of important. Right, you need to see what you're making. I'm just kinda 
dry brushing it on there. It's actually easier to do the handle, just so you know, if you go back and you do this craft, these rolling pins, they're from Hobby Lobby. The wood block kit is also from Hobby Lobby in a wood package of five blocks. And if you do the little staining part like I'm doing, um, I'm thinking now that that's probably the easier thing to do first. And then go back and paint your colors, just FYI. That's my little tip right there. <laughs> Okay, so we're about ready for our decals and I'm gonna show you um, these decals that I, I created them right before we came on. I used a couple different fonts and I'm happy to like give the SVG file or put that out there um, on the resource library for Crafty Life Mom, I can do that. And then I, if you don't have a machine where you can cut your own files, I can certainly um, like list these decals in a bundle and it just makes it easier to cut them all on like one page and then you can put you know get your own wood or whatever and make this stuff um, all right so now we've got those two can you guys see my my table here I think you can all the comments are like running in front of it all right so let's move on to making the decals so that one's still kind of wet um, and these little handles are drying. So let's start with maybe the orange one since that's the one that we started with first. So here's my little sign. Let's see which one is cuter to go with here. I'm like looking into the light. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put a pumpkin on there. This is gonna be so cute. I'm so excited about this one. Um, especially if you like pumpkin spice. Do you guys like pumpkin spice? Like, hey, pumpkin. I don't know, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Oh, did I do the wrong? Probably did not. Let me get my, this was some, <laughs> I might've done the wrong vinyl, guys. This might not be a good winner. One of the vinyls that I have does not work good with my transfer tape, and I'm thinking that this is it. Oh, it's gonna be a nightmare. Yeah, oh no, this isn't it. Okay, good. I was about to say, I just went through it all, and oh, maybe this is it. Got, got ahead of myself. Sometimes you just can't win. Weeding some of these things are just a nightmare. You guys know what I'm talking about. Who here has a Cricut or a Silhouette? Who here has one? You guys tell me. Do you have one? Or are you just like a paint and like hot glue kind of crafter? Like what kind of crafter are you? Do you do the machine cutting or do you not? Like what do you do? I want to know. Do you guys need help with your Cricut? I've been talking about making a class for that forever, and I just haven't yet. Okay, so this is not working. This has gotta be. That crazy vinyl. Sure is. Look at that. This is a nightmare when it does this. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Look at this. We may have to move to a different one. This is <laughs> where it stay. It doesn't quite come off. See that? Like the Y doesn't want to go. And it's going to drive me nuts. There, now it goes. Like it just, when it decides it's ready, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I didn't have it pushed down enough. I really, I just bought this vinyl not that long ago from Michaels. Um, this is supposed to be the good kind too. It's Oracle um, 651, just so you know what I'm using. And this is like the second sheet that I've had this problem anybody else just me getting this see look I'll show you right here see that 
like the paper goes with it. And they're supposed to be like number one in the vinyl. Um, vinyl world. That's why I was kind of happy with stenciling for a while because that was like a different kind of thing. And much easier. But for some reason, like the paper doesn't want to come like release off of the vinyl backing or it like tears with it. We got the word hey. Hey girl. You guys watch that show on Netflix? Where's my little tool? Maybe my hands are like part of the problem. Let's see. Okay. This might be a little frustrating tonight. So I guess the trick is to go ahead and peel it with the paper sticking to it. And then if you have one of these little tools from like Harbor Freight, the Cricut ones, whatever brand, you can always go back and just lift the paper off. Um, I just kind of figured that out. But see, there's my word. But you see how some of the like paper is still on it? Which is so weird. It's like their backing paper is not lifting. Um, but when I use this little bitty, like it looks like a dental pick, it just scrapes it right, it just lifts it actually, it doesn't even scrape, it just comes right off. But for some reason, it won't come off when I'm pulling the main transfer. So I don't know what that's all about, but Oracle is that brand. Um, they're supposed to be pretty good. And that's a nightmare that it did that. <laughs> Cause you see, it just took like the extra few minutes. Okay, so Lisa, you have a Cricut, yay. Do you use it? Do you pull it out? Like what, do you have, like do you love it or tell me, is it good for you? Is it hard? Okay, so now I'm gonna lay down my decal onto my wood. Sometimes laying down decal, vinyl decals, is a little bit tricky on wood, especially when the wood's been painted. Just so you know, um, the best way to proceed is slowly with caution, and then it should work out for you just fine. Look how cute this is going to be. Oh, got my pee. Okay. What you say? All the time, you love it. You use yours. Laugh out loud, girl. What do you make? What are you making? Shirts? Like what? Okay. This might need a little steel. Okay, steel. Okay, it looks good. Look! Hey, pumpkin. Hey girl, what you doing? I've got that song on my head, you know, from that theme show. Okay, so let's do the little guy right here, right? I painted his little sides, he's brown on top. Dollar Tree, the other day I did a Dollar Tree um, little fall haul. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I will probably go back to Dollar Tree like five or six more times before the Christmas stuff and buy more fall things. That was just a miniature one. <laughs> Um, because I already have like a lot of the signs and stuff, like a lot of those are on repeat year to year and then every now and then they throw in a newer, um, like little sign here and there and it's super cute, but I literally was out there in my bins. I didn't bring them in. I looked in my bins and, um, I saw like two or three signs that I never even displayed from Dollar Tree. I thought I was going to like make them over or add to them and make them more cute and I did not. <laughs> 
Um, so there was no need for me to buy more Dollar Tree um, fall signs, but that doesn't mean that you can't, right? You totally need to um, buy the signs if you want to decorate with them, especially if you want to decorate with them. Okay, so I'm going to do this little black and white one while the glue gun heats up. And hopefully my vinyl is like a good friend to me here. It looks like it might be, and then it might not. Like it's got a struggle bus going here with that paper backing on the certain parts. Let me see, this is a good example one to show you what I'm talking about. Um, all the weird things happen to me too, okay? Like I'm not this expert crafter who gets it right every single time, just so you know. Crafting is not like perfect, look. See that paper junk? That's what I'm talking about. It's staying on the vinyl. And if you use your little dental pick, I don't even know what you call it. This one is from Harbor Freight, just so you know. They have like a kit for, I don't know, five, ten dollars somewhere in there. These there's like a pack of them from the Har from Harbor Freight. Um I was in there with my husband, he was looking up other things, and I came across these and I was like, oh, you could never have enough weeding tools, right? So go to Harbor Freight and get you some of these. They are just as good, if not better, and even my favorite go-tos over like the Cricut or the Silhouette brand tools. Just saying. So, um, and there's like a pack of them for like the price of one Cricut tool. So, okay, my thing is sticking to my finger because I have paint on them. And it like wants to stick to that. All right, so let me try to get this paper off. This vinyl. All right, so this one says, hello fall. So we got, hey pumpkin and hello fall. I think my glue is finally um, warming up. I'll go back to that little block in a second and get my little Dollar Tree pumpkin on there. So you guys can see that. So look how cute this one is. Okay, my little L got a little crooked. You know, it is just, that is just what it's all about, right? Imperfections. All right, so we got, hey pumpkin. Can you guys see them if I stack them up like right here? Like the collection, can you guys see it? No? Uh oh, what did I get on there? I touched it with something. Look. It'll be all right. Okay, so can you see that one? Hey, pumpkin, hello, fall. Look how cute that would be on a shelf. Just those two right there in itself. Wouldn't it, would it not be adorable? Okay, wait, let's add to it. There's like these little packs of pumpkins. Some are glittery. I gave all the glitter ones to my daughter. She likes to go put them around her room. Um, and then they have like the natural wood ones. Let me see if I can grab one. Like this. They're like in a package at the Dollar Tree, right? These were in my stash from last year. I didn't have these in my life. But so they have like these and then they have like a small one and then they have all three of them again like on repeat with glitter. Um, or if you have the Cricut Maker or the Cameo 4, you can cut out your own like I did. I cut out a ton, a bunch of these out of wood. Okay, just like the basswood. Let me show you guys how many I actually cut. Cause I was going to do a project. Um, if you need a pumpkin, don't worry, I got some pumpkins for you. I cut out all these pumpkins. <laughs> add a whole sheet on the um, Cricut. I did that one on the Cricut. All right, so let's add an orange pumpkin to my little one here. Okay. You know you like this, right? You think this is cute? Maybe, maybe not, maybe it's not your thing. Okay, so just imagine, you know you have a tiered tray, right? Like it sits on your, um, I'm getting the paint all on the back of these. They must have touched something. I don't know what happened. Um, let's do the teal. I love the teal. Let's see which side is good. Okay, let's do this one maybe. Okay, um, so think of a tiered tray, right? Like a two-tiered tray. You guys know what I'm talking about? 
They sit on your dining room table, mostly, for the most part. And they um, have like the salt and pepper shaker on there. I don't know, sometimes you have the sugar there if you have it near your coffee bar. You guys know what I'm talking about. And then the rest of it is like cute stuff. Like there's a little plant on mine. I think I have a little saying that says always be kind. Um, I got that one from Hobby Lobby and it's like this size. It's super little. Um, I'm trying to think what's currently on there. Like I just took off some of the lemon decor that I had. So there was like a little sign that I made that said easy peasy lemon squeezy. You know, it's like cutesy stuff that's for the holidays. And a tear tray is the easiest way to start decorating for the seasons if you don't really decorate for the seasons. But you kind of like want to, but you don't know where to begin. Start with your little things first, like your tear tray and your coffee bar. To me, those are like the easiest places to start. And they're the most inspiring because for the most part, you're going to visit that once a day. You're going to sit down and eat. And you're going to probably, if you're like me, start your day with coffee. So... I just think it's kind of fun because it gets you in the mood for the season or the holiday or whatever. And those are like the best places to start your seasonal decor, right? And they're easy things to craft or to pick up little things from like the Dollar Tree or wherever if you're not a seasonal crafter. But I don't know. Are you guys like seasonal crafters or do you just like watching me on the craft? I don't know. Which one are you? Okay, so I'm getting my word autumn off here and I'm trying to like struggle with the same white vinyl making sure my end doesn't fall off here or like tear let me lay it back down of course it tore the paper anyway not the vinyl it like doesn't want to go what is the deal with this vinyl Like the weirdest thing ever I don't know I think I got some defunct vinyl all right so the word autumn this is so cute guys okay and then we'll move on to because like all I have left is like another one of these that toffee colored one and I have the same hello fall like I have this black one here in the white so we'll skip that one and we'll move on to the funsy stuff okay um, of the rolling pins. So, all this was, remember, was like, I think this crafting kit was like five or six bucks from, oh, I keep toppling it over, um, from, well, that's good, let's me do this. Boop, boop. Look at that. Now I got a little craft wall going. How cute are we? Is that cute? This is cute, right? <laughs> is it just me? I think it's adorable, whatever. All right, so let me, can we move it a little bit out of the way? Because I want you guys to still be able to see what I do next. Let's see, oh, it was not mapping. Okay, what if I, oh, that's out of the camera. All right, well, we'll come back to it. I'll move it. All right, so there we go. We've got our little blocks. Now we're gonna do our two little rolling pins to match. This one just says pumpkin. <sighs> These decals, last two guys, they are driving me crazy. They should not take this long to peel back, but they are like, it's a pain. I'm struggling with this vinyl today. Ugh. I may give up on it. <laughs> so this is a skinny font that I used. It's kind of like the Ray Dunn look, okay? Um, which is super popular. Some people are giving up on it. They're done. They're like, I'm not doing the um, Ray Dunn no more. And that's cool too. 
I have tons of Ray done throughout my house. I kind of love it. I like words and signs everywhere. Um, also, my twins, the boy twin Eli, when he was um, three years old, he wasn't talking yet, and he went through a whole speech thing, and the advice that somebody gave me was to flood him with speech, and it was like about that same time that I was into the Ray Dunn words, and so we just had on flashcards words everywhere, like TV, television, like I even had, like it looked like a classroom in our house. Um, because we wanted him to like be attracted to like learning language so he would talk and if it worked because he does not shut up today he loves to talk 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 he loves books like that boy goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and so I don't know I'm kind of partial to the words and Ray Dunn phrases and stuff around my house because now he talks so much we, we don't need obviously that we don't have that out there anymore but I don't know, it just reminds me of that time with him, it's sweet. It was sweet, but it was like crazy all at the same time. So now of course, all he talked about today was sharks and what kind of shark do you like? And do you have a favorite one? And I have this favorite one. So I'm like, no Eli, I don't have a favorite shark. <laughs> you know, I try to stay away from them. <laughs> so we got him. We ordered him a little shark kit that has all these little, um, little cute, all kinds of sharks and stuff and a book comes with it, all that stuff. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put the word pumpkin, of course, on the pumpkin colored thing. I like to align it left. Maybe that comes from being like teacher, like I don't like to um, center it. I like it aligned to the left because I just imagine it being in a, um, a tray like angled and so if it's angled it's easier to read because then like you could have like a little plant or something like right there covering it like see it could be like with this little guy so I like to align my word left on the rolling pin okay and then I have the hello fall which do I need to do it guys or you want me to move on to the other but it's gonna be on the teal the vinyl is really <sighs> on my nerves okay well, let's decorate these two really quickly and then we'll go. I know you guys have been hanging out with me forever and a day. All right, so this old scrapbook paper, what I'm going to do is just kind of eyeball. You could probably like measure it with a pencil. I'm not, I'm just gonna roll it, make a little slit. <laughs> And then I'm going to cut straight up. And I just want to make sure that I have enough to go around once. So about there. And it's okay if you have a little overlap. And then what you're going to do is get another paintbrush. You see, we just use this coarse one. And your Mod Podge. I'm going to paint my uh, rolling pin with the Mod Podge and my paper. And I'm gonna hold it and do the paper because I should have done that part first. Just so it's nice and coated. And then just take your little paper and rest it on there like that and before you roll it I like to do a little like seal right there on the edge and it, yes your fingers are gonna get kind of sticky guys it's totally okay it's part of the fun and then you're just gonna kind of roll it into place making sure it's lined up like so. And then I'm gonna just squish out the Mod Podge like that. Look how cute this is. Wait, let me turn it. See the pumpkins now? 
Look how cute. Okay, so now you can leave it like this or you can be extra, okay? And you can attach like a little ribbon to it. This is that Dollar Tree ribbon that I got the other day. Let me show you. I'm just gonna take some off of here. Cut it. And I just got a big piece, which is fine. And then the seam part, I'm gonna lay that down on the edge because that's like our back, right? That's our bottom or our back. So then I'm just gonna tie this little ribbon on there on the corner or on the edge, kind of like a present and just make the knot first and then the little bow loop like so. Okay, and I always do it so I have bigger tails than I want with my little, my thing. Like, see how my tails are like, whoa, they're kind of huge. And then I pull it so that it's super tight and then it can be shaped out like to a little bow. And then I go back with my scissors and trim my tails so that when they're trimmed, the bow will lay kind of like how I want it to lay, if that makes sense. Okay? Look at that. See? What do you think? Super cute and like paired up with maybe, I don't know, the pumpkin. Laying these two in the tray with the teal. Isn't that adorable? That's so cute. Okay, so I can do my other one. You guys want to see the other one? I've got like a message coming in there. Do you guys want to see the other one really quick before I go? Or you're good? It's not gonna hurt my feelings. So look, we got Hey Pumpkin. Here, let me move that out of the way. Hey Pumpkin. And then we've got like our little Autumn. And Hello Fall. Here, let me scoochy scooch. Hello Fall. Oh, thanks for the hearts. I love the hearts. All right. And then I know I'm, I'm playing like, see right here? Look how cute. Now, obviously, you're not going to put all of these on a tear tray or all of them in one place. But I'm just showing you like, let's see if I could. This is like Tetris or, or what's that game? You guys know what I'm talking about? I can't do it. It's not going to stay. But see, like you could totally pair these up together cuteness, right, in your tear tray. So you would totally pick like two or three and put them in one little place, maybe on a little end table, you know, the other two on like your coffee bar. And this is how you could like start with your decor. So at Hobby Lobby, these come three to a pack, okay, for like less than $5. And then Hobby Lobby, which I have, it comes with a set of five wood craft blocks and I don't remember what I paid but I think it was like ten dollars for the wood and then you just need craft paint and if you have some craft paint already on hand you have these cute little shelf sitters and these little tiered tray like cuteness items to add a little fun to your decor and like I said I love to put them on the tiered tray because you're going to eat dinner there probably with your family and around my coffee bar um because that's where I start my day. And so it kind of keeps you in the spirit with the season, which is the whole intent to like live seasonally. So um, I'm gonna probably finish up my last one here. And then tomorrow I will take some pictures of how I display them. Maybe I'll start decorating for fall because I haven't yet. I gotta take down the summer stuff. But I'll take some pictures. Like I'll definitely put them in the tier train around the coffee bar area so you guys can see how I like display them. But they're so much fun and I love this colors, especially with the orange and the teal. Like, I'm there with that, with the crafty, right? Yes? Maybe, okay. All right, that's all I got for tonight, guys. So, thanks for coming, thanks for crafting with me. I had so much fun. Um, if you wanna see something in the future, let me know. I think, so I ordered this, um, I'm into wood lately, I've told you that. I'm into wood. I ordered this um, sunflower thing. And so maybe we will paint that in a couple of days. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I got to get some kits out. So I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. See you soon. Bye.